and I'm here today to go over and review our new outdoor Wi-Fi security camera. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at everything that this unit comes with. So of course we have the manual to get the unit set up and going. Here's a quick start guide for the application. And the camera itself. With a very nice sleek design, it can very easily be placed indoor or outdoor, wherever needed at that point. Here's a mounting bracket for the device and your USB charge cable. It also comes with a SD card adapter in the form of a flash drive and a reset pin. And of course, the mounting screws to get it mounted. Now, let's take a look at how to get it set up on board. So on the back side, we have our USB port. This is what you're gonna plug it into for either continuous power or to charge the unit up, depending. On the side here, we have a little panel that'll pop off as well, and that's where our SD card slot, on and off switch, and reset key will be located. So start by inserting your memory card, and then go ahead and turn the device on. Once that's done, when you're ready to connect, you can press and hold that reset pin until you see the LED start flashing and make a beep noise. Now we'll kick it over to the application and get it set up there. Let's start by opening up the CAMSC Pro application, hit the plus, and then select Smart Home, and I see it in pairing mode. From there, it should populate the camera's information for you to select, and then go ahead and input your home or office Wi-Fi connection to then sync the two up. Once it's gone through this little countdown process here, it'll become either successful or fail, and you can then get in and view your camera at that point, as you'll currently see. So I'm briefly just showing you the live view some of the different options that you'll have. So you have a couple different options just from your plain viewing resolution, which can solely depend on the internet connection that it's being connected to. So you can manually set your night vision or just set it to automatic, flip your imaging, you can manually record, take snapshot images, and even talk through the device if needed, as well as your audio. You can even change the tone of your voice if needed, which makes this unit very unique in that regard just as a deterrent unit. So after we finish this up, I'm briefly gonna back out and show you some of the settings here. So we'll start by setting our time zone. It will automatically take it from your phone. You just need to save it. And then we can go into our motion config. You can set the duration of how long you'd like it to record for at that point, depending on the motion scene, and even set a schedule if you'd like at that point. So here I'm just setting it to zero for no schedule. and We'll be good to go. So once that saves, we're gonna back out and go into our record configuration. So this is just setting the duration of the clips when it comes down to it, and then physically turning the recording on or off, depending. And of course, we can get in and view our SD card just for your storage, formatted if needed, the full nine. You'll be able to check your firmware directly through the application, make sure it is up to date at all times, as well as enable or disable your notifications, whether or not the camera goes online or offline at that point. So from here, if we click the alarm log on the bottom, we can get in and actually review the recorded information. By clicking the little cloud icon, that's how you're gonna actually be able to download and save and review those recordings directly to your phone at that point. So this is just a brief one that I had made here real quick. So it's going through the download process. Once that completes here, we'll show you what it looks like. So if that's done, we can get in, we can view it, and then by hitting the three dots in the top right hand corner, you can actually save it directly to the album of your phone, as well as the application. Make sure you allow access. And from there at the top, you can hit your album button, get in and review all the different ones, either the manually recorded ones or the ones that you're saving from the SD card at that point as well. On top of that, you'll be able to delete all the information directly through the application after you've reviewed the needed info at that point. So let's go ahead and take it up front and check out a couple little quality demonstrations that we took here around the office. And of course, if you guys did appreciate the content, don't forget to like and subscribe for future review videos.